bathroom. We talk about this probably every day or every other day. Um, Mostly me, Zach disagrees a little bit with me, but... Really big pantry space. So. An area that is always getting reimagined in our minds and maybe will get reimagined in the near future. Which is actually the furthest point from entering the bus. So I'm only having the two levels kind of creates. No, definitely just need to have thought that out better and probably need to redo some of it. Hola amigos and welcome back to Amor Aventura. We are so excited to have you be part of our journey. We are Zach, Fiorella, and Kiki. Two years ago, we bought a shuttle bus to convert to the tiny home of our dreams. In 2020, we quit our jobs and hit the road. Follow along as we explore all around the Americas and share all things bus life, the ups, the downs, and all the resources we gain as we chase this dream. We can't wait to see you on the road. We've been thinking a lot about how we built the bus and things that we did. And the reality of it is there's some things that we don't really love about some decisions we made and things that we kind of would change. Things that we wish we knew now that we've been on the road for almost a year and also some projects that we're thinking of getting to and working on in the bus. So we figured we would share these things in case you're thinking of converting or you're in the process. Might be something to give you a little bit more insight or just Hot. Yeah, things Hot. to keep in mind. So, yeah. without further ado, let's let's get to sharing. Let's do it. Okay, so one of the things we've been and it's mostly me. Zach disagrees a little bit with me, but it's our floors. So we actually love our floors. And in previous videos, we told you that to save some money, we just installed the floors after everything was done, and it did save us a lot of money. So this is why I kind of go back and forth on this a lot, but. Having put the floors after we build stuff, left little holes like this one where dust accumulates and we've tried to put trim but it's so small or the trim moves. So if we would do it again, I would probably push for us to put the floors all over the bus, but kind of go back and forth on this. And the color of having darker floors, they're harder to keep clean than lighter floors and they definitely require that the up part of the bus, like the other part is kept lighter. So just something to consider from design point of view and just from cleaning point of view, I guess. So another thing that we talk about all the time is we kind of wish that we rethought our cabinets slash pantry slash storage space. So one thing that we definitely wish we added was a sliding pantry. Um, we see it in a lot of conversion videos and looking back, it would definitely help keep things organized and save a lot of space. A lot of people do a very narrow pantry, so it doesn't take up a lot of space and it just slides out. Looking back, definitely something we wish we would have done. In a future build, maybe it's something that we will do. And another thing is the size of our cabinets that we have um we essentially kiki's making an appearance just did really big pantry space so down here like you've seen in our other videos we just have two levels and it, they're just really large which is nice because we can get a lot of things there but at the same time only having the two levels kind of creates <laughs> just a it makes things get a little bit messier and um, it's harder to keep things organized because there's not the levels to it. And that's the same with our lower portion of our closet. Down here is where we keep a lot of our bigger things like our sweaters, our jeans, our jackets. We keep down there, but it is just one giant drawer. So when we were building it, we thought, you know, one big drawer would help because we could fit a lot of things in there. And yes, we can fit a lot of things in there, but it's hard to keep organized because if you want something at the very, very bottom, you have to go through this giant drawer to get to it. So maybe having more organization or two or three separate drawers would probably be a little better. So definitely keep that in mind if you're building your own storage. So another area that we're always thinking how we could change or going back on our process is our lounge area. So we chose to go with the dinette that 
sits four, a little bit tight, but um, sits four. This table is technically removable, although we really never do that. And we would definitely want to upgrade the table. This is just a scrap and we never got to doing a nicer one. So that's definitely a project too. But sometimes I wish we had done a bigger couch area to just have another lounge area for ourselves and then also more space to have people over, even that spare bed that a lot of people have. We originally chose not to because in our normal life, we never entertained friends in our place and we didn't think that would bust life, that would change. Having met so many awesome friends and realized that this community is so cool, we did wish we had a little bit more of space to have people come and sit and have dinner. Um, so this is an area that is always getting reimagined in our minds and maybe we'll get reimagined in the near future. So going off of the dinette area because it is the next immediate part and plays a huge role in our size selection of our living slash dining area is the bathroom. We talk about this probably every day or every other day. Um, we wish that we went smaller with the bathroom when we were building. Obviously we had never lived on the road before. We thought that having a indoor set shower was gonna be something that was very important to us. Now having been on the road for so long and we just, honestly, we've used our outdoor shower so much more than our indoor shower. We rarely ever use it and now we have this humongous area of the bus that we essentially kind of lost in a way it's so much square footage that we could be using for other things um yeah looking back we kind of just wish we wiped all this out and extended the dinette this way and only had room for a composting toilet because like i said we use the outdoor shower so much so maybe doing more of an outdoor shower setup as opposed to the indoor shower because we do chase the weather so it's nice 90 percent of the time everywhere that we are so that's something that we talk about all the time so another thing that we definitely wish we'd have done differently with the bus is our electrical system this is something that because of budgeting of waiting to build up the money to be able to buy the solar panels and the batteries and all that stuff we pushed till the end of our build um after we had put our walls and everything which forced us to have to do an electrical system that was exposed. Um, like you see back there, I actually loved the design aspect of it. It turned out really nice, but it limited up where we could put the electrical, um, like the outlets and the lights. Actually, our bus only has electric on this side and not on the other. Um, it involved tearing a lot of things and having to redo it and we just never got to it. And maybe we will get to it because we only have one well we have two outlets one behind the br the fridge and an outlet right in here which is really annoying to get to it's really far and our light switch is there which is actually the furthest point from entering the bus so we have to walk the bus in darkness climb over the bed to turn on our only light which after putting our cabinet here does a great job illuminating this part back of the bus but not the front part of the bus so that's why we've been using some string lights that we plug into our outlet but it takes an outlet out so as you can tell definitely just need to have thought that out better and probably need to redo some of it so just a few things that we wanted to share they've been on our minds and you know, they involve some of them, some mistakes that we made being amateur builders. So we just wanted to put them out there and maybe we'll help you think, rethink your layout or think your process better. Yeah, just make sure you really think about what is important to you when you're living on the road. I know it can be hard to imagine, especially when you aren't on the road yet, but you really got to imagine and envision what your life is going to be like. And also just to kind of let you guys know that it's completely normal to dislike things that you build and things that you thought you would use or like. It is 100% normal and everybody that we've met on the road, they've all had the same thought processes and we've had the same conversations with them that everybody has things that they wish they changed or did differently at the end of the day. These are our homes and just like a stationary home, there's always gonna be improvements or things that you wanna change. 
Absolutely. So things change. Also, you realize what you want and what you don't want after living it, which you don't do before. So, and maybe you also realize that you sell yourself short in like for us electric was really intimidating so we kept it simple now looking back on it and talking with other people we realized we could have definitely pushed ourselves there so just part of life like little projects little things you can upgrade at the end of the day we love the bus we love our home we love this lifestyle so it's just little things to consider yeah so keep those things in mind and if you haven't already please subscribe to our channel it really helps us out thank you so much for being here and showing us all the love and the support that you guys are always showing us. If you have any things, if you're living on the road and you have things that you dislike about your bus, leave it in the comments. Let us know what you think and ask any questions. We love to help you guys out. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.